okay now the download is complete and if you head over to your downloads folder you should see uipath studio community dot msi executable you're gonna double tap to run the executable and it should bring up the uipath studio desktop installer now i want you to know that the steps we're going to take right now is going to get the studio and the robot installed into your local machine so go ahead click custom accept the license and agreement click configure click install for all users on this computer choose packages and you want to choose unattended robots with time you're going to understand the difference between an unattended robot and an attended robot but for now tick unattended robot click advanced settings you need not to worry about the orchestrator url the client id the client secrets because these details can always be updated even after installation you want to tick you want to tick install uipath studio because this is really important if you don't tick this then the uipath studio would not be installed now you can click install and the installation begins okay we have a message here and we have to accept this i click yes now it's installing yes and if you have your browsers open then the installer is going to prompt you to close those browsers because it needs to install some extensions in them so go ahead and click yes now we're good installation completes and we can launch uipath studio two things you need to know is that after installation you're going to have the uipath assistant and the uipath studio as desktop applications on your computer okay now we've gotten uipath studio installed and we have this dialog box we are having this message here because we installed the robot as unattended and since it's installed at as unattended we have to use the uipath assistant if you take a look at service url which is your orchestrator url this field is disabled so you can't do anything here so on your windows icon you want to head over to uipath assistant double tap to open up the uipath assistant and you want to go to preferences so click on the profile icon and hit preferences and you want to go to orchestrator settings now if you can remember these are those details i told you you shouldn't worry about that we can do that after the installation now the question is where do we get these details from for connection type we're going to be using client id you can either use client id or machine key i'm going to choose to use client id so where do we get the orchestrator url the client id and the client secret from this is simple you're going to go back to cloud.uipad.com now you're going to go into your orchestrator and your orchestrator url is simply everything in your browser url up until you see the word orchestrator with an underscore so everything here is my orchestrator url i'm going to copy and i'm going to place this in the section of my orchestrator url now let's get our client id and client secrets to do this we're going to head back to the orchestrator go to tenants and you're going to go to machines and now you're going to add a machine because the machine is going to have client id and secret so click add machine and you're going to add a machine template now for template name this is going to be the name of my pc to get the name of your pc you're going to click the windows icon and you're looking for system information now i'm going to open system information and you can see 
system name and this is the name of my PC. I'm going to copy this name and back to my template name. I'm going to have the name there. I'm going to give a very fancy description of my choice. You can, you can write it as anything. I'm going to call mine my very own Lenovo laptop. I scroll down and you can choose to add tags if you want to, but they are not important for now. Over here for production unattended, I'm going to choose one because the community edition entitles you to just one production unattended robot. For testing, I can leave this as zero. I don't need a testing robot for now. And I'm going to provision. Now it's done. You can see the client ID. I'm going to copy this. And back to my UiPad assistant, I'm going to have my client ID. And again, the client secret. The client secret is only generated once. So you need to copy this too. And back to my UiPath assistant, I'm going to have the client secret. And that's all I have to do. And I'm going to connect. You can see now the status reflects as connected as unattended robot. It means my robot is connected. Right now, it's time for me to connect my studio so I can start building processes. I'm going to click sign in. And mind you, before you click sign in, you want to make sure that the only browser that is opened up is the browser that is connected to your orchestrator. I'm going to go back again and I'm going to hit sign in. And it's going to open this dialog here. And I'm going to say, always allow cloud.uipad to open this link if I want to, or you can leave this unchecked. But then you want to click open UiPath. And this should turn to green. It means your studio now is connected. Head back to your studio. So I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to try to open my studio again and see what happens. And you can see my studio opens up nicely. Looks good.